Hello everyone, this is Ritika Ori from Management Bliss. This is a very short but informative video on Kanban boards in Jira. So this is how a Kanban board looks like in Jira and the columns you see over here start with backlog, then to do in progress and done. The configuration of these columns can be changed by you depending upon the processes followed within your project or organization which means that you can add some more columns over here or you can change the column headers or you can configure the minimum and maximum values for these columns to make all these changes what you have to do is you have to go on the top right and click on these three dots and go to the board settings here we can see that there are different columns as shown on the board and from here we can add some more columns and we can select a category depending on what that column is. Let's say you want to add one more column which says testing which internally means that testing is going on or is in progress then the category over here which we will select will be in progress. Now to add it we click on the add button. I'm cancelling it as of now. We can also swap the places for these columns and from here we can easily change the minimum and maximum value. We can delete the columns from this button over here. Now I'm moving back to the board. Now if we see the first column is the backlog and this is the major difference between a scrum or a Kanban board. A scrum board does not have a backlog included while a Kanban board has this backlog column so that you have a clarity over what is there in the box that needs to be done. Now this number shows the number of issues currently present in the column. A number 9 here represents that the backlog has 9 issues currently present in it. Now if we move to the to-do column we can see that it currently has zero issues but it is highlighted in yellow. The reason for it being highlighted in yellow is because it's not satisfying its minimum value. Therefore, let's add some issues to it. Now we have a minimum number of issues satisfying the min value for this column and therefore to do column is not highlighted in yellow now. If I add some more issues and let's say if it exceeds its maximum limit of issues then the column gets highlighted in red. Now let's say the team has already selected what has to be there in the to-do column and they want to move the issues from to do to in progress they can drag and drop the issues from to do to in progress again the minimum value here is one and if the issues are less than one present in this column the column will be highlighted in yellow if you increase the number of issues allowed for the maximum value the column gets highlighted in red and this value represents the work in progress limit on the Kanban board. That is the number of issues allowed to be in progress and this value is there to avoid the bottlenecks. Such bottlenecks could occur when the team allows to have lots and lots of issues in their in progress but very few of them or none of them are going towards completion. The next column is done and if we see over here it shows that the maximum value allowed in done column is 9 and since we are not able to see the minimum value it means the minimum value is set to 0 or nothing has been set for the minimum value.
Now, when the issues have been completed, they are moved to done. In between this process, if the team thinks that the priority for these issues should be different and some of the issues should be done before the other ones, then you can just move those issues up in the column. For example, if I think that this error reported on password reset is more important than test story 4, then I will move it on the top. So this was just a brief introduction to Kanban board. Do subscribe to Management Bliss for many many such informative videos. Bye for now.